is back. Game of Zones, created oh, by Bleacher gosh. Report and sponsored by State Farm. If we are ever to reverse the curse that turned your head into a basketball, we must dunk your head at the summit of Mount Rim. This looks a bit ominous. The three-point arch. We're getting closer to the basket. Oh no, a wing defender! You may not cross the great three-point arch to get to the paint without answering my three-part riddle. What is a shape, a philosophy, and outdated all at once? Use your policying ability. State Farm agents are always two steps ahead. <gasps> the triangle! It's the triangle! The triangle fulfills all three points! Correct. You may pass, but it is dangerous. Do you have insurance? Ooh, State Farm. Very nice. Hey, by the way, do you guys cover Dragon Lairs? State Farm is a great sponsor. Yeah. Giannis or Harden, Luca or Trey. Tune into the NBA Awards presented by Kia to see who will win Kia NBA MVP and Rookie of the Year Monday, June 24th at 9 Eastern on TNT. <laughs> and you got, was, can I say something? You got to go to Bleacher Report and watch the Toronto Raptors Game of Zones. Game of Zones. Yeah. It's, it's the whole Adam and Craig Malibu. Have you watched, have you, have, brothers, you actually, man. have you ever watched the Game of Zones? Have you? I'm just checking. All right. You mean Game of Thrones? Okay. What's that? I didn't get that. You all right? Me either. It was a, uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it was a two-man show that carried the Raptors past the Sixers in game one of their best of seven. Kawhi Leonard, Pascal Siakam combined went 28 for 38 for 74 points, and those two outscored Philly's starting five in a 13-point win. On Monday night in Toronto, Leonard had another big night while Siakam went just 9 for 25. And the Sixers, with Joel Embiid slowed by a stomach bug, turned to another source. Like uh, the old crime novel out of the bargain bin, the butler did it. That would be Jimmy oh, Butler. I hate the button again, Jack. In this one. No, that was actually, that was actually fine writing. <laughs> like my good friend, Johnson. You're the man, Shaq. I appreciate it. I'll do it. That was scholarly. Art. Part of a 7 nothing run. There's Tobias Harris. Here's Jimmy Butler. Somehow. There was a turnover happening. He, he came into the right We button. know uh, Jimmy has this ability. J.J. Redick. Get it. J.J. Ridiculous. I know how much you love the old four-point play, Chuckster. Oh, my God. I hate it. There's one for you. How's that a foul today, but it wasn't a foul yesterday? Oh, uh, you know. They would lead by 19. We're going to discuss all that okay, in our okay, next segment, okay. as a matter of fact. That was different to me. Yep. As a shooter. I don't Andy know Green if that was a, a foul. I'm not going to lie. There's Kawhi. And here comes. Ten base oh, spin cycle. Pascal Siakam. His last second. He finished with 21. Leonard out of the corner. Uh, tell you what, 17 to 4 run bridging the second and third yeah, quarter. Philly tried everything in their powers. Yeah, get Greg, what away. I tell you, what I tell what you. I tell you. Just don't you remain. Stay calm. calm. That's going to be a new song. Stay calm. And one. Call. And one. Jimmy. Swig it. Nice pass. Yes, sir, to JJ Reddick there. And then, nice feed here to Ben Simmons. Oh, stride. So all you got to do is run that court. Butler Swing again, it. he's all over these highlights, uh, man. Yeah, that's the old Jimmy Butler right there. Chicago Bull Jimmy Butler. 81 to 70. That's James Butler. Oh my goodness. Ooh. And ones. Oh, you keep your money at Kenny. Oh, in the bank. Part of an 11 to 2 Raptor run. Siakam for three. I love when you said it, Arnie. <laughs> Siakam. <laughs> Rock'em Siakam. Oh, good double. A better pass out of there. Here's that man whose fingerprints are all over this game. Jimmy Butler for three. Weak side always open on that double. Oh, right, Kenny. Kenny finish this. Good pass. Kyle Lowry stepped up tonight. Yeah. Give it love. Hit a couple of big threes late. Good pass there. And Siakam. It's a one-point game, 90 to 89, as they come from 19 down within oh, this one. Is work right here. Whoop. That's the work. Whoop. Man, that was a huge oh, hoop for a but guy. He got a shot early. Didn't have a big oh. night offensively. Way to save it. Yeah. Kyle's oh, got it. good. And Danny, Danny Green. Green. That's good. Oh. Iron unkind. <laughs> Thank you, Tim Brando. Tobias Harris corralled the loose ball, hit a couple of free throws, and out of Philadelphia. Which is to Philadelphia. Sixers 94, 
to 89 winners. Kawhi had 35, 7, and 6, went 13 for 24. Jimmy Butler, 30, 11, and 5, had six 30-point games in the regular season, has two now in the postseason. We call him Jimmy, but uh, there was another name that Brett Brown used. This was James Butler. Like, that was the adult in the gym. And he was just a tremendous rock. He willed us to a lot of different situations. Coach came in here and he said, this wasn't Jimmy Butler tonight, it was James Butler, because name, how mature My name isn't James, <laughs> literally it's Jimmy. What do you, but he talked about your maturity. What, what do you think he was seeing there that made him feel that way? Um, I don't know. Um, I'm telling you, they, they put a lot of confidence in me before the game. Um, I put in a lot of work last night as well as this morning. But uh, all in all, man, it was, it was a team effort. I, I always go back to defense. You know, we get stops. We're taking off into the open floor. Um, guys are making plays like Joe and, and, and Ben. So, you know, whenever we're playing like that, guarding like that, we're, we're such a good team. Can you talk, Joel, about what this game was like physically going through this for you? If you had the uh, before, uh, Joe, <laughs> uh, if you had it before, you you would know how it feels. But I knew I was playing. There's no way uh, I was missing this game. Uh, this, like I said, this game was really important to us. It doesn't matter what I had. Uh, I w I was gonna play. May not have been feeling up to snuff, but uh, boy, that was a huge hoop late in that game for Joel Embiid. But the night belonged to Jimmy Butler who goes for 30, had 36 in a game in that Orlando series, or in the Brooklyn series. But uh, his 30 tonight, huge, 94-89, Philly wins, and they hold Toronto to just 36% shooting. And uh, that was good because they turned the ball over 20 times for 24 Toronto points, but they survived that and win the game. This was a survival. Um, they tried everything in their power. Uh, but Jimmy Butler was the star tonight. Uh, Toronto, they just couldn't make shots. I mean, they got great opportunity. You know, Kenny showed some stuff at halftime. They were getting wild up shots. They couldn't make them. I give them a lot of credit uh, for hanging in there. But now uh, the pressure switched to Philly. I actually like the way Jimmy got his 30. He wasn't trying to be selfish. The ball swung to him. He took the high percentage shot. He played really excellent ball tonight. You know, for them to, to, to go on Eastern Conference Finals, he's going to have to play like that every night. And we know he can because we've seen him play like that before. It kind of went away from it, kind of lost a little bit when he went to Minnesota. But tonight was the old Jimmy James Butler, whatever his name is, but he did it right away tonight. <laughs> you're gonna, and you're going to need somebody to, to explode like that. This Toronto defense is really good. This is six straight games. They've allowed under 100 points. But Jimmy Butler with 30 tonight was key. Yeah, it, it's... Um... You know, by committee, because if you if you said Joel Embiid would have 12 and Ben Simmons had six, you think they lost by 30. And Tobias Harris would have nine. Yeah, yeah. It, you know, it, he you would you would never expect that to be a win. And the shot selection that Toronto was able to get, they those were great shots. Those are shots that you would want to take. Uh, you know, even a Danny Green miss, like to to tie it up. That's the shot you would want to get. Yeah, from a three-point shooter, uh, like Danny Green with all that shooter, playoff experience. One of your best yeah. playoff experience, Spurs, and he's open. So, you know, you can't overreact or you can't get too hyped on the win or loss in a seven-game series, especially after game two. So both teams have to take both with a grain of salt and understand that we're still where we want to be. This is going to be a longer series than long series in the second round than it would be in the first round. And you have to understand that. And these are type of the games that you win or lose, but it's really going to come down to game six and seven in this kind of series. Well, but when I, and I always see the pressure switch to Philly. They got two home games. They got to win both of them, plain and simple. When you steal home court, you have to protect home. I mean, so they're in a great situation, but now they, they have to win the next two games. And game three will be Thursday night. In Philadelphia, you know this uh, April 29th was uh, was an anniversary oh. of, of, a, of a big night for the Chuckster. For Chuck, 1986, taking on Milwaukee in the playoffs. Yeah, Eastern okay. Conference semis. Chuckster goes for 31 points. That's all. 20 rebounds, That's six it. assists. Give me that. Six steals and two blocks. There's never been a line like that since 
Oh, since they started uh, tracking blocks and steals. What's the line, though? What is the line? Like, more than what? Well, 31, 20, 6, and 6. Oh, 6. So, 6 yeah. and 6. Okay. So yeah, 6. Yeah. 6 what? Six assists and six, six steals. steals to go with the 31 and 20. <laughs> Charles Barkley, you know my damn man. <laughs> <laughs> the Philadelphia 76 says. <laughs> hey. 31 and what? 20? Oh, 31, yes. 26, and 6. The 76ers. You ever That's think you had 31, 26, and 6? That's what they Oh, just let you know, if, in case we go to Philadelphia, all you got to do is go, just look up. Yeah. I, I think I think Shaq I don't believe might be right, but you, you know oh, what? Uh, but you never did it on this day. That's 31 and 20. You just didn't do it on that. this day, Shaq. That's all. That's minor work. 31, 26. That's minor work, Ernie. Trust me. Come on. That's just not on this day, Shaq. Jimmy Butler had 10 points in the opener. Did not hit a three. In this game, he's got 13 in the half. Three out of four from deep. And the Philadelphia 76ers in a game that looks dramatically different than game one. Lead at 51-38, trying to tie things up with the Toronto Raptors. American Express Halftime Report, Ernie Johnson, along with Kenny Shack and Charles. Uh, you look at the numbers for Philadelphia in the first half. You know, they got the lead by 13, uh, shooting just 41%. They have hit half of their threes, dominating the boards. And look at the turnovers, 13 turnovers by Philadelphia they have committed the most of anybody in the postseason yet they still lead by 13. They should be up more. Yeah. They should be up more. Turnovers Agreed. have not helped. Agreed. That's, I that's mean for sure. uh, you know I mean Toronto shot 32 yeah. percent. They should be up. if I'm Philly I mean obviously it doesn't matter but I, I'm, I think they should be up 20 points, to be honest with you, because Toronto's not going to keep shooting this bad. But the Philly did not finish the first half very strong. They should be up more points, in my opinion. And good shots. Chuck. Three out of 15 from deep this is for the Raptors. Shot. They, get, they get, they just, uh, they're just not making shots. And those turnovers leading to 18 Toronto points, 18 of their 38 in the first 24 minutes. So tell me what you've seen from Philly. Well, we all know, you know, we've been doing this for a long time. We all know that playoffs are a game of adjustments. And, you know, the, the greatest adjustment that Philly made is to just share the ball. Look, everybody can touch it. Everybody can play. You know, this is our secret weapon right here. We need to get him going. One more pass. You know, you guys have all played on teams, and we all tell people, look, I know you can shoot, but just make one more pass. Everybody's involved right there, playing aggressive, making a good pass. And they are hitting shots. And I agree with Chuck and Kenny. They should be up to him. But, mm. You know, the adjustment here was to just move the ball. No isolation game, no one-on-one -on -one game. Don't let them get their defense set. Move the ball, let everybody touch it. And if we hit shots, we can compete with this team. And they are up, and I do agree with you, they should be up by 20. But right now, they keep moving the ball. They have a chance. Yeah, the, the last couple of buckets by James Ennis, who had 12 mm. off the bench. Difference between one and two, Kenny? Aim high is James Ennis, let me just say that. Oh. Played for me. Growing up, he played but, for you. Yes, he did. It's all about the coaching. He no got. question. <laughs> but you know what? I, what I learned as I was, you know, blessed to be on teams that made the playoffs. In the regular season, you have to run your plays, and in the playoffs, you have to make plays. It's a difference. You run, you have to make a play, and so. Oh, we no one's coming. You. They all scared. Already already you. you. Your antenna are hey, look, up, man. And I put my sneakers on yeah. today. I was like, I'm wearing sneakers today just in case somebody tries me. But <laughs> this is what, early in the game, I was going to see what the adjustment Ben Simmons was going to have. And what he is not accustomed to is an, an Embiid. He and Embiid, I want to see what kind of adjustment. But all of a sudden, you see Marcus Gasol freezing here. No one fights this guy this hard to be able to get him outside of the paint. So as the play developed, he normally would have been in the paint catching the ball. And this, ladies and gentlemen, Charles, for you, freeze it here. The difference between you scoring 25 points a game or 18 points a game, isn't it those five five inches? No question. Without, and he lost those five inches yep. to Gasol. So all of a sudden now, everything is much more difficult. So now the help is easier to come. Look at uh, Leonard here. It's easier to help. He knows he's got to go there. How the help comes, throws it out of bounds. First play of the game, Ben Simmons. Again, not used to the length and athleticism. I want to see the difference. First two plays of the game, there's the hands in the passing lane. And then 
There is an adjustment. Ben says, freeze it here. Once he's not there, I see the lane. I'm attacking as quickly as possible. Get into the lane. I'm Now I'm, I'm at my advantage of what I do best. And the other guy wanted to see what Tobias Harris. Don't run a play. Make a play. Go ahead and make a play right here. Do it yourself. Get into the lane. Then you can run your offense. So there is an adjustment. Don't run plays. Make plays in the playoff, baby. And Joel Embiid obviously uh, is sick and... He's taken one shot in the first half of this game. Well, He's got he, four points but, all at the line. And uh, Marcus Gasol's doing a fantastic job. Remember, he said in the interview before game one, he said, I'm going to hit him right when he get past half court. I'm going to make him earn his space. I'm not just going to let him run down the court. And that's going to have a cumulative effect throughout this game and throughout the series. But to me, uh, the, the biggest difference is just Kawhi Leonard. I mean, come on. The guy had, he got 15, six, see, Occam got seven. Those guys had 50. At halftime the other night, now they got 20. That's a big difference. But if I'm Philly, man, you got to take care of the ball. You got to keep the crowd the game. They got a great tempo going. Great first half by the 76ers. Uh, Leonard, 6 out of 10 for his 15 points. Expect to see a bunch of Kawhi but trying to assert himself but see, Occam, in the third quarter. Kyle Lowry played very well. Yep. He showed some yep. stuff that don't show on the stat sheet. But the guy's got to be Siakam. Siakam. It is 51. Siakam got a sickle. 38. At the break, as we head to break, a reminder, Amex card members, listen up. Whenever a player records a triple-double in a playoff game, you can get 32% off at NBAstore.com the following day. Go to NBAstore.com slash Amex32 for terms and details. Coming back with more in just a second. Welcome to the American. 